All right, yo, what's going on, everyone? You guys got the Barkage of the Hidden Games Village here today for another video, and I'm actually kind of upset right now because I literally, I just sat down and recorded this video, and when I was transferring it to my computer, I, I, I don't know how, but I accidentally deleted it. So this is round two for me. Uh, um, uh, yeah, but anyway, today we are ranking the Calisthenics Athletes on Tier Maker. Um, not super excited to make this video because this is one that kind of invites that toxic crowd, you know, uh, you know how it is when we're talking about other people here. So just know that I'm ranking these guys. It's all in good fun. Everything that I say, it doesn't really mean anything. I'm just, this is just for fun, okay? Um, and uh, yeah, you guys are probably gonna hear my computer uh, fans going off in the background. Uh, that's okay though. Uh, it should be able to talk over it just fine. But uh, regardless, we are going to get right into the tier list. Um, and oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So I didn't make this. So there's a lot of people on here that I've never heard of. So we're actually going to put a don't know tier. We're going to add a don't know tier because there's quite a few people on here that I don't know who they are. And then we're going to change E to F. And uh, yeah, we're going to get right into it right now. Um, Okay, so the first two people on here I've never heard of, I've never seen before in my entire life, so I'm gonna put them in the don't know tier. And <clears throat> up next, we have Xylus here, who is a blatant S tier. He is uh, very, very good at all things push, very good at all things pull, and is just an absolute monster who deserves to be in the S tier. And I'm actually kind of glad that we're ranking Xylus first because he kind of will set the bar for the for the S tier, okay? Up next, we have this guy who I've never freaking heard of, so he's going and don't know. Could be an absolute beast. This guy could be stronger than Xylus. We don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just never heard of him. Anyway, up next, we have Dai Long, uh, Dai Long OTZ. The thing with Dai Long is uh, he is better than every single person on this list, except for maybe Victor Kamenov at Maltese. But I haven't really seen much from him outside of Maltese. Um, he's, I mean, I'm assuming he's good at front lever and stuff, but I just haven't seen it, so I can't really, uh, I just, I can't really talk about it or rank it like that. Um, but I will say he, he's very diverse with his Maltese in the sense that he does tons of different variations and stuff like that, different grips, and it's really, really cool. And uh, yeah, because of that, I think Dai Long at least deserves to be an A tier. Um, but yeah, honestly, Dai Long, absolutely amazing. Up next, we have Gadji. Uh, Gadji is going to be in our A tier. Uh, I really like Gadji, actually. I really like a lot of the dead plant stuff he does in his combos. Uh, he's super solid on rings. And I really like his uh, signature reverse muscle up. Uh, Gadji is just overall very, very good and uh, one of the best, one of the best, which is why he's an A tier. Um, okay, up next, I have no idea who this guy is. Um, <clears throat> Victor Kamenov up next. Uh, this is a hard one to rank. He could either be S or A, um, maybe like S minus to A plus. Um, OG, uh, tons of respect for this man. Um, Maltese and Planche are absolutely amazing, just god tier, and uh, haven't really seen much front lever stuff from him. I mean, I'm sure he's great at it, but I still, I would not consider him to be in the same tier as Xylus, at least right now. So uh, I'm going to have to put him in A, uh, but still really good, tons of respect for him. Um, yeah, anyway, moving on. Up next, don't know who this guy is. <laughs> We have, oh, is that Valentin? Oh, yeah, that's Valentin. Okay, so yeah, like I said, this is my second time recording this video. And uh, I'm actually glad now because I would have put Valentin in the don't know tier. Um, but yeah, Valentin is going to be an A tier. Well, hmm, it's tough with Valentin. Here's the thing. We kind of talked about the specialist, right? That That is what Valentin is. He is a planche master. He's one of the best in the world at it. Um, absolutely amazing. Again, actually, I would say he's probably better than every single person on this list at Planche, okay? But it's the fact that he doesn't do anything else, okay? I mean, he, he can do front lever. I haven't seen him do anything more than a front lever hold. Um, we've seen him do back lever pull-ups in that one competition. It's just, it's just he doesn't do that stuff. So it's hard to rank. Like, I, I'm just going to put him in B. 
Um, tons of respect for him as a plancher. It's it's just he if he would do more pull skills, he would be S tier. But it's, I mean, seriously, I just I have to put him in B. I think I would just put him below these guys because he only does planche. Um, but he's amazing at planche, amazing at Maltese. He has the world record for Maltese presses. Um, super strong guy, amazing. Um, one of the guys I respect the most. It's just I, I think he has to be in B. Um, <clears throat> okay, up next we have Manuel Caruso, who's going to be in the A tier. Um, pretty good all around, actually really good all around. He uh, amazing at front lever. He innovated it with the Caruso move, front lever to Victorian on rings. Um, super solid planche Maltese as well. He belongs in A, in my opinion. Up next, we have Lee Van, OTZ. Um, <clears throat> ah, yeah, see, I, this is what, where it gets weird, because I, I don't think he would be in the same tier as Valentin. Hmm. Yeah. But, uh, see, I don't know if I should start moving people down now, or, that's the problem with this being my second time doing this. <laughs> um, shoot. Uh, we'll, we'll leave it as is. Levon, absolute beast. Um, I haven't really seen much from him. He does like one on planche, I know. Solid at planche, multis all around. Uh, but yeah, we'll just put him B. I don't know who this guy is. Um, Eric Ortiz, probably going to make people mad with this, but he's going in B tier. Um, not sure who this guy is right here, so we're going to put him in don't know. Who is that? I don't know. Never seen him before. Up next, we have Nedco, who is a beast. He's going to be an A. Super, oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. He's he's an A. He's an A. <laughs> um, I don't know who this guy is. Up next, we have uh, Scar something. I don't know how to pronounce his name, uh, but he's going to be an S because he's pretty much like... He, this kid is just so strong. He He's kind of like the ring innovator. Um, like, I'm pretty sure people were... Like, rings and street workout were a thing before he came around, but I feel like he really, really popularized it. Um, doing all of his crazy Zanettis and Van Gelders and all that stuff, his pinky stuff, um, and that kind of thing. So, yeah, he's definitely S tier. Um, honestly, just insane. So, up next we have Stonebeck. Stonebeck's going to be an A tier. Amazing. Haven't really seen much outside of the Planche and Maltese from him, but uh, it's so good. Like, he's just amazing. He does uh, fingertip Maltese press for reps, I think. So, really good. Stonebeck's going to be an A not sure who this guy is here. We have Slava Kripak. He's going to be an A. Um, again, haven't really seen much from him outside of his planche and Maltese, but um, but um, but I mean, yeah, it's just so good what I've seen from him. So I'm going to put him in A. Or maybe, yeah, I will leave him in A. Daniel's Lazins. Uh, again, probably going to irritate some people with this, but this is going to be C tier. Um, really, really good statics, and I think of him as more of a freestyler than a static guy, uh, but his statics are something that will put him well above pretty much every other freestyler, and, um, yeah, he's honestly just super solid all around, but I feel like when you're comparing him to these guys who just main statics, uh, he's not quite at their level, but still, still amazing, still amazing, okay? Everybody on this list is insane okay so just because he's in c tier it doesn't mean that i hate him or think that he's weak i i think he's very strong and he is just not on the same level as these other guys okay it's really not a big deal guys um up next i think this is my ellie uh my ellie's gonna be an a obviously don't really say much about him uh i'm not sure who this guy is i think this is zoran pesterak uh, if not, this square will represent Zoran and it's going to be an A tier. Amazing all around. He does a ton of different elements, which is amazing. Uh, he rightfully belongs in A. Um, up next, not sure who this guy is. La Rosa in A. I do not even have to say anything. Um, do not know who this guy is. <laughs> Chris Heria. Um, probably going to use this as like clickbait for the video thumbnail or something like that, but... Uh, Chris Area is going to be an F tier. Um, if this was a entrepreneur, like businessman tier list, he'd be triple S. But I mean, he's not really static guy, so uh, I, I don't even know why he's on this tier list as an option. But that's whatever. Not sure who he is. I'm not sure who this guy is. I don't know who this guy is, and I sure do not know who he is. Do not know who this guy is. 
I don't know who this man is. I do not know who this guy is, but that's a cool looking uh, Maltese there. Is that like a mixed grip? What the heck? And then we have Kurban Gasanov, who's going to be an A. <clears throat> um, Victorian guy right here, don't know. San Johan or San Gohan is going to be an A. Very, very solid all around. Uh, I'm not sure who this guy is. Don't know who this guy is. Osvaldo Lugones will be in B tier. Never heard of him. Actually, maybe I've heard... I, I don't know. I don't know who any of these guys are. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> don't know. Don't know. We have Eric Ortiz's brother, who's going to be in C tier. I've seen a couple things from Eric Ortiz's brother. Uh, really, really good, but nothing absurd. Uh, he's really good at planche, planche push-ups, and that stuff, but he's not... Um, I mean, he's not like... A, a level or S level. So he's going to be in C tier, um, which is awesome. Still good, like I said. Don't know who this guy is. Uh, Vitaly Melnick will be an A. Vitaly Melnick will be an A. Um, do not know who this man is. Never heard of him. Never heard or seen him. Never heard of this guy. I've never heard of this guy either. I don't know who this is, unfortunately, and I don't know who this guy is. Onizuka, Onizuka OTZ, I think that's who this is. He's going to be in our S tier because he is amazing at front lever. Uh, just as good, if not better, at front lever than Caruso here. And at the same time, he has a very, very good... Uh, he's really good at Maltese and Planche as well. So Onizuka, I believe, belongs in the S tier. And I think this rounds out the S tier pretty well. I think these are the main three right now that really stand above kind of everybody else, okay? Um, man, my computer is freaking out. All right, <laughs> we got to finish this. So don't know who that guy is. Don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know. This is Shaq Tulio, Shaq Tulio's in B. Uh, don't know, Nikita WK is going to be in C. Very popular YouTuber. Uh, don't know who this guy is, and I think this Chinese dude is going to be an A if I know if I if he is who I think he is. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, guys, that pretty much uh, concludes this tier list. We're going to give you guys a quick rundown before my computer blows up. So we have uh, Xylus. Oh yeah, and these these tier like the rankings within the tiers don't really mean anything. I just kind of put everyone in the order they appeared on the list, if that makes sense. So we have Xylus who is in the S tier as long as well as this Scar dude. I think his name's like Scar X Lus or something. Um, don't know how to pronounce it. Onizuka is also an S. We have our A tier, our biggest tier, which is Dai Long, Gaji, Victor Kamenov, Manuel Caruso, Nedko, Stonebeck, Slava Kripak, Maeli, Zoran Pesterak, Kurban Gasanov, Andrea Larosa, San Johan or San Gohan, Vitaly Melnik, the unknown Chinese dude who's a beast. Uh, Valentin is topping off our B tier again. Really on the fence with Valentin. Definitely could have, definitely has S tier potential if he uh, trained other stuff other than Planche and Maltese. Um, but yeah, B tier. Um, <clears throat> B tier for Lee Van as well. B tier for Eric Ortiz. B tier for Osvaldo. B tier for Shaq Tulio. C tier topping off is Daniel's Lazens, Eric Ortiz's brother, and Nikita WK. And then we have Chris Harriet in the F tier. With that, guys, that concludes the uh, street workout tier list. Please let me know what you guys thought of the video down below. Of course, please remember to hit me with a nice subscribe no jutsu, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.